We have another huge update from Surecart that just went live. By far my favorite feature here is the instant checkout pages for instant results. This right here is an instant checkout page. It was zero effort to put this together and it's amazing. So we've got this. It also looks amazing in dark mode, as you can see right here. And it also is going to look amazing on mobile devices. Pixel perfect, perfectly adapted to any mobile device. And it gives you just the right amount of customizations to make it exactly how you want to make it. And it's just three simple steps to start using instant checkout pages. And if you've been using Surecart for a while, you've probably already done two of the steps. So step number one is to create a product. I'll go ahead and click on my products right here. And you can see I already have a ton of them already created. So let's go ahead and click into one of them. I'll click into this one right here. Now the second step is to create a price or multiple prices for your products. Now, if you've been using Surecart for a while, we have added some new things that you can do here. So you can see now on the list of, pri of prices here, there's this icon on the left, and this will let you rearrange the different prices that you've set up. So when you're using the instant checkout, it's gonna be in the exact order that you want it to be. Next, let's go ahead and go into one of our prices and you see something new. We have the new option to add a name to the price and this is used now inside of these instant checkout pages when you have multiple prices and there's that price selector. This is gonna be the little bit of text that shows off to the left in that box. I'll show you that in a moment. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is go into your existing product and set a name for each of the different prices. The other thing you're gonna to wanna to do inside of your existing product is to add a description. This is brand new, but we actually have already built this for our upcoming product pages that should be out in about one to two months. So now you have the ability to add a description to the product and this is used in the instant checkout, but it will also be used inside of product pages when that releases. And we have just enough formatting options for your text so you can make it stand out. You can highlight bits of text and you can bold it, italicize it. There's a list option here. You can make this bit of text look really good. And now the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go up to where it says instant checkout here in the top right, and there's options there in this panel. Let's take a quick look. So your products are not gonna have their instant checkout page be published by default. This one I've already published. Here's to put the form in test mode. Here you can choose if you do or don't want to show the store logo as well as setting the width in case you have a horizontal logo and it might not look good sometimes. You can set the width to make sure whether your logo is horizontal or vertical, it's going to look fantastic. And you can show or hide the product image, the product description, the coupon field, as well as if you want to require the terms and conditions to be accepted by your buyer. Next, you can customize the URL that's gonna to go to this instant checkout page. And then here is the URL directly. Let's go ahead and unpublish this by clicking right here and I'm gonna click on save product. Now let's take a look at the instant checkout page. I can click right here where it says view, and you can see it just looks fantastic. Now you know visually if it's published or not, because if it's not, we're gonna put this little badge here that says not published. And when you scroll down, you're gonna actually get to experience our new product selector layout. And this took a ton of effort to get right and I think we nailed it. So you can see now that the price is there, but all of the details related to the price pricing plan that you've created appear there in a condensed format. So your buyer always knows upfront what this plan entails. So you can see right here, 
$99. This is a payment plan. It says $99 a month for three months, starting in 15 days, because this has a trial on it. And there's also a listing here for the setup fee, a $50 setup fee. And it, it spells it out in explicit detail here. And this is going to be inside of the instant checkout pages, as well as any checkout form that you've created that you've added this pricing chooser too. So now you can see why we have the name for a price. It shows right here. And now we allow you to set the order of these prices. And also if your buyer is logged in because they've made a purchase from you in the past, their avatar or gravatar will be appearing here on the top, right? They can click at that and go straight to the dashboard if they like. So that's instant checkout pages that allows you to start selling instantaneously and it's going to look beautiful and you got to see the second thing that we just added which is this massive overhaul to the price selector in how we display what a plan costs and if you notice there there's some new features as well now we have setup fees as well as paid trials. So this is another brand new feature. Now this is for our premium stores. Let me show you how to set it up. So you can charge a setup fee or have trials for subscription plans and payment plans. So here's a one-time purchase. And when I expand this, you're gonna see we don't have the options there. But right here is a payment plan and here is a subscription plan and those will have the options. So I'm going to open this one up right here. It's a subscription and the same options will be present for your payment plans. And you're going to see this option right here. This is setup fee. And when you toggle this on, you can give your setup fee a name and this can be named anything that you want to name it. You can name it $1, $1 trial or $1 seven day trial or seven day $1, whatever you want to name it. You can name it setup fee. You can name it due today. It can be named whatever you want it to be named and you can add whatever price that you want there. So for the setup fee, I just added the name setup fee right here and you can see right there, I've added this setup fee of $500. Let's just click on save the product and let's go ahead and take a look at that. So now when I scroll down, it's this annual plan and you can see right here, it says $500 setup fee. Now let's, instead of a setup fee, let's change that to a paid trial. So I'll go back into edit the product. I'll scroll down and this time what I'll do is I'm going to change the name here from setup fee to paid trial. I ended up naming it $1 trial and the fee amount for that is $1. Now we need to turn this into a trial period. So what we need to do is first toggle on free trial, set that trial period. So I'm going to charge a dollar for a week, which will be seven days. And then we have this option right here that says charge setup fee during the free trial. This means the setup fee amount is going to be charged immediately. If this is toggled off, the trial fee or the setup fee is going to be charged at the end of this seven days. We don't want that. We want that the $1 charged immediately. So we'll toggle this on. So these are the options to have a paid trial. Let's click on save product and let's click on view instant checkout page. I think I might've gotten this, the, the free trial name wrong, but let's see. Yeah, that doesn't look good. Um, so right now you can see it says $1.99 per year starting in seven days and a $1, $1 trial. Actually, I don't like the way that looks. I would probably change it, but you get the point. You can make this text label, whatever you want it to be. And you can see when I click on it, the amount owed is $1 for right now. And it says right here, then $1.99 each year starting in seven days. So I ended up with my paid trial. Now we also have another nice improvement for people selling subscriptions or payment plans. And that is the ability to pause a subscription or pause a payment plan for any period of time that you specify. It's very easy to set up. So here here I am on my subscriptions page and I'm going to go into this subscription right here. It's an active subscription and you can see right here is the renewal date. It's going to renew on April 20th. Now, when you click into a subscription in the top right corner, there's an actions button 
And when you click on that, it will reveal some options. I'm going to choose pause subscription, and then we get this modal. So then I can choose any date into the future. I simply need to select it. So if I want to pause this until September 1st, I can choose September 1st, and then I can click on pause. And then now this subscription is paused. And you can see right here, it has a label that says paused on it. Now, also, I can go up to the actions button here and I can restore it on a specific day or I can restore it now. And this means take it off of pause and make the subscription active. Now, if you want to see the full change log, as usual, it's on our website and it's also in the WordPress plugin directory if you want to see it there. So let's just go over this because there's lots of other little improvements. So another thing I should have shown it is we now have a padlock, a secure notice automatically added to the bottom of the payment buttons. This is great for conversions and we've added that. It might be hard to see right here, but on this checkout page, here's the buy button and underneath it, it says this is a secure encrypted payment and it has this padlock. So this is what we've added to all of your checkout forms. We used to have it underneath the payment uh, block right here, but we've now moved it there, which is a much better location. Now, in addition to that, we've also added a nice little improvement to the customer area. And that is if you are selling payment plans for your customers to log in there and see how many payments are remaining. And this is something that our own customers asked us for. And so we got that in there as well. We've also added Arabic, a native translation for Arabic. And we've fixed some RTL issues that have been reported to us. And that pretty much does it. I want you to go right now and try the instant checkout pages. They're gorgeous. They're amazing. And they're going to do wonders for you to get instant results right now. Now I want to let you know what's coming to Shortcart. Right now we are working on a massive overhaul to the customer area. So that is completely going to be redone. We should have that out in about two weeks or so. So once that is done, you literally, upon installation of Shortcart, have to make no design decisions. You can use instant checkout pages, product pages when we have them, and everything all the way through is going to look beautiful regardless of your page building tool, and you don't even have to put in any effort to have that. So that is what we're working on right now, and then right after that's going to be our release of product pages and a shop page, and uh, we're just moving forward with all the features that we have planned for you guys to continue making e-commerce for you just easy. So that's it. That's what we have for you in this update. I'm excited about it and I can't wait for the next update. And so we'll see you then.